Alright guys, um, it's taken me quite a while to get this update video regarding the uh, coil denitrator. Um, I guess I just haven't gotten around to doing it. Um, just because I'm on to better things and kind of wanted this to just go away. Um, but uh, because people keep asking me about updates, um, I'm going to go ahead and do an update. Um, as you can see, I've got the coil that I made in my DIY video is sitting right here. And uh, it's just, there it is, you know, it's completely disconnected. I don't use it anymore. Um, <clears throat> and uh, basically, there's a lot of misinformation about these and how they work out on the internet. And there's a lot of people that recommend them, and they don't even know how they work. Um, and they don't, um, they've probably never done one themselves to know how they work or if they work. Um, and a lot of guys will just recommend them blindly. Uh, <clears throat> one company that makes a similar product to these, it works basically the same way, is Aquary Pure. Um, they make a uh, basically a denitrator, but it isn't a coil. Um, it but it works basically on the same principle with a providing an anoxic environment for the anaerobic bacteria to to, to grow, which will remove your nitrates. Um, the problem with all these um, is that they simply just don't process enough water fast enough to be an adequate means of reducing nitrates in your system um, there's a guy on YouTube that is providing so-called solid proof in bold letters that these coil denitrators work um, in his video if you watch his video uh, the guy banned me from his channel or whatever he won't let me make any more comments revealing the truth about these um, and I don't, uh, I don't really uh, condone that kind of thing either. But uh, uh, anyways, I'm making my own video to show you guys the truth uh, or to expose the truth about these. Uh, it, well, in his, back to his video. In his video, you can see him um, taking a sample from his tank and then taking a sample from the output of his coil. And then he does a nitrate test on both, and you'll see that there are none coming out of the coil, and there uh, looks to be about 40 ppm in his tank, um, based on the color of uh, his test. So what does that say? Yeah, the quick answer is yes, they work. Well, no, they don't, because if they did, both tests would be yellow. Um, so there's your proof that they don't work um, in his video that so-called proves that they do work. Um, that's exactly the problem that I ran into. Um, yeah, I got ni um, zero nitrates coming out of this thing, but they do not process at about two drips a minute or whatever you get out of these things. I'm sorry, but there's no way you're going to process enough water fast enough to reduce your nitrate levels. And if you're going to use this as a supplementary reduction method, um, <clears throat> it's just not going to be adequate. You know, it's not even worth it. They're, 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 they take up, this is a big one, in my opinion, but that is nowhere near big enough to even make it a decent-sized dent on the nitrates that are being produced by the animals in there. You know, I've got fish and stuff like that, you know, and they're just completely inadequate. Uh, to do that. Uh, same with the Aquary Pures, you know, they, they're, they're kind of a, a marketing gimmick or a, 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 I don't know anybody that sells them, but the idea is cool, you know, it's a good idea, but there's many, many issues with these, you know. If you have them up and running, you have to have it at a precise uh, drips per second or whatever, like two drips a second, or, or something like that. Um, it take you weeks to process all the water in your tank 
at that rate. You know, if you had a decent sized tank, you're gonna talk. You're talking about weeks. You know, you, <laughs> nitrates can build up a lot quicker than that. You know, and same with phosphates. You know, that's an even bigger issue. Uh, <clears throat> but anyways, um, the uh, the drip rate is critical. You know, and, and you got about two two drips a second or whatever it's got to be. Um, that's such a, a, um, <clears throat> a um, what do I want to say, kind of a, a vulnerable state for the coil to be in because at two drips a second, it's almost like a running clock. It doesn't take much to stop it, you know. I mean, you can just a little bit of a, a piece of dust or something gets clogged in there. You're going to, you know, your two drips are down to none, you know, and you're not dripping nothing now. You know, the restriction... You got to reduce the flow so much to get down to two drips, uh, and you're at a vulnerable state like that, and you're going to end up clogging. And then when your pump, <clears throat> when you unclog it, your water is going to be stagnant, you know, and it's going to have sulfides building up in there, depending on how long it's sat clogged up. You know, same thing in the event of a power outage. You have a power outage. This thing ain't going to be working. So how many hours is it going to take? You've already got near stagnant water with uh, on the verge of collapse all the time. These things are on the verge of collapse, basically, at all times. And then when your power kicks back on, guess what? You're going to pump all that nasty water right back in your tank, and you can nuke your tank. Uh, I mean, there's some dangers involved right there. My advice to you guys... Don't waste your time with anything like this. Um, get some bio pellets, get a refugium, get a deep sand bed, grow some macros, you know, do whatever you got to do, you know, outside of this because this is just uh, not going to be fun for you. I'm telling you right now, they, they, uh, they require constant monitoring to make sure that the drip rates are correct. And um, <clears throat> like I said, they clog up. You know, I even pre-filtered the pump going in uh, with a 0.5 micron filter bag, um, and it still got clogged on almost an hourly basis sometimes. So I had to keep keep unclogging. It is just a nightmare. Um, and even if they do work flawlessly with your drip rates, and you never have to adjust them, they still ain't gonna process enough water. That's the problem. That video that guy shows, you can see the proof right there. The proof is they are not an adequate means for reducing nitrates in a, in a reef tank. They just are not. Um, I know this firsthand. Um, unless you have a gigantic coil um, that's running flawlessly, you know, and it's, you know, like I said, it's got to be giant to process the water in an adequate manner. Um, unless you have little or nothing in your tank, you know, that ain't your, your, your nutrient imports aren't exceeding the export. Your exports aren't going to be very high, so you can't have an, a very high import either. You've got to have means, you know, to match your imports. Uh, a refugium, a good skimmer, uh, bio pellets, all of those are going to kick the crap out of one of these. I'm sorry, but uh, these do not work uh, like they are intended to. I don't care what anybody says. Um, the idiots on Reef Central referred me to one of these. Uh, the guy over on his, you know, the YouTube video banned me from exposing the truth about him. Um, I'm sorry, but his video shows that they do not work. Um, not that they do. Far from it. So uh, if you care to watch his video... Um, Go ahead and type it in. It's just type in coil coil denitrator solid proof. In bold letters, you'll see it. And watch that video, and you'll see for yourself that his first test has about 40 ppm, and the other one is you know zero. That proves to me that they don't, they are not adequate for reducing nitrates in a reef tank. Uh, anyways, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them. I'll do the best I can help. Uh, uh, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.